Well, I can't believe it, but the start of the 2020 MLB season is almost here, just around the corner. And I want to bring in sports director for CBS Philly, Don Bell, for his thoughts on all the rule changes that are happening this year, of course, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. How's it going, Don? It's going great. And yeah, I can't believe we're going to have live sports here. Obviously, the MLS has gotten underway, but I'm really looking forward to baseball and the NBA and beyond. And baseball is going to look a lot different this year than what we're used to, specifically because of the length of it. I mean, they're only going to be playing 60 regular season games. So let's start with that. How do you think that the 60 game regular season is going to affect the Phillies chances to contend this year? Well, a lot of times people say the greatest indicator of the future is looking at the past, right? So over the last couple seasons, the Phillies have faltered in September's under Gabe Kapler. They have collapsed and they have missed the postseason. Last year, they were fourth in the NL East and finished 81 and 81. But they have started fast in both seasons. So, you know, logic tells you, at least you hope for if you're a Philadelphia fan, if they can start fast in a 60 game sprint, that'll very much help you in moving forward. I will say this listen, a lot of people, um, obviously, the pandemic has been hard in every walk of life. For the Phillies, it has been somewhat beneficial because they'll get their leadoff hitter back in Andrew McCutcheon. Had the season started on time, he was recovering from an ACL injury. It may have, he may have missed the first month of the season, but this because this thing has been pushed back, he jumps to the top of that lineup, and that's a big deal for the Phils. And another change for MLB teams this year is the fact that they're only going to be playing their regional division and then the opposing league's regional division. That's going to help the teams limit their traveling just a little bit. So, Don, how does playing only against the AL East and the NL East work in the Phillies' favor? I don't think it does work in their favor, uh, to be honest with you. That is a hard matchup saying now that you're going to have to play uh, the, the New York Yankees, who are really title contenders. Uh, also sticking with the NL, if you want to go back there, they've got the Braves, who won the division last year. They've got the Nationals, who were World Series champs. They have the Mets, who have one of the best rotations in baseball. This is a tough schedule for them. Yes, they do get Toronto and some other teams in there, like the Baltimore Orioles, but it, it's a tough draw for the Phils. And I know the season hasn't started yet, but if you had any sort of bold predictions on who's going to make the playoffs from the NL East, who would it be? When you look at the Phillies, people say that they haven't made a lot of transactions over the offseason, the kind of big splash transactions like they had a year ago when they brought in Bryce Harper. But they got Zach Wheeler, talented pitcher uh, from the Mets. They also added Didi Gregorius, who has a history of playing pretty well, obviously um, taking over for Derek Jeter up in New York. So they added two very good players. But the biggest thing that they did add this season is a manager who has been there and done that before. So Joe Girardi comes in here after spending 10 years with the Yankees and winning it all in 2009 against the Phils. I think he is a big addition for this club, and I think that he's going to help them elevate the standings. How high is the question? Because once again, you've got the World Series champs and you've also had the division champions uh, in the Atlanta Braves. So I like the Phils to get better this season. Will they make the postseason? I think it'll come down to the final week of the season. And then finally, Don, another change for the 2020 MLB season. I know there's just so much to address this year, uh, but maybe one of the biggest changes is the fact that there aren't going to be any fans in the stands to cheer on their favorite team. So is it really going to feel like baseball without any people in the seats? I think it's going to be very odd, man. It's going to be like a boring spring training environment, if you will. Uh, maybe, maybe – for the fans at home watching it, it'll feel that way. But for the players, knowing that you only have 60 games to get this thing right, I think the intensity will be there from the get-go. You Because in this season, guess what? You can't lay back and have a seven-game losing streak. You can't get swept in back-to-back -back series because if you do, your season could be over. The intensity will be there, but I feel for the teams like, say, the Yankees, the Red Sox, and the Phils who have tremendous home field advantages with their fans, particularly here in Philadelphia. You know what we're like here in Philly. You know what fans bring to the table, and I think that is a big miss for the Phils who can use some of that energy in, as they have in, in years past. All right, Don, we'll see kind of how all this plays out. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and sharing your thoughts on all the changes that we're going to see this year. I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Philly.